What's going on you cocksuckers? It is double XP on Zombies in Spaceland right now and I thought I would show you guys how to maximize your rounds and XP and keys in order to give you the best overall double XP experience. Now this time the double XP is actually going to be only for public matches. I don't know why exactly they did this but you have to go ahead and hop into a public match in order to get the double XP. And as most of you know, that can be a little difficult to actually uh, deal with because you have uh, randoms that, you know, like to go AFK and things like that. But if you overlook all that and you're just looking for a place to camp and grind high rounds um, as quickly as possible, I'm going to highly recommend this area in Polar Peaks right there on the little catwalk section right outside the DJ booth. Because it does have a wall by directly next to it, uh, the Volk auto rifle could be, I guess you can consider it the AK-47 or the KM-44 or whatever you want to call it. it. It looks the same, exactly the same as Black Ops 3, you know, you pack a punch it, you buy ammo off the wall for 4500 And not only do you have that wall by there, but also right inside the door to the right, you have a souvenir station. And as most of you know, you can put coins in there to get various traps. And for our group, we what we were doing, you know, I had one guy I was actually talking to, the other two weren't really paying attention, they were off doing their own thing. But what we were doing was where we were just picking up any coins and just putting them in the machine in any order we got them. We weren't really trying to build anything specific because it didn't really matter. Our strategy was we're going to round 25 and then we're going to die just so that we try to maximize our time and um, not waste any, just going for high rounds. You know, we wanted to get the most out of the double XP, but we also wanted to get the most out of the keys so we could uh, get um, loot boxes. So with this, I'm going to highly recommend you pack up punch the starting pistol uh, or something of the kind because you're going to need some sort of power weapon to get your ass out of there if you need to. It's not really worth trying to build any of the wonder weapons, um, but if you do build an explosive weapon, just keep in mind you're probably going to want to buy bomb stoppers just so you don't down yourself. Also keep in mind you want to pay attention to when the brutes spawn. You know, earlier in the rounds you don't really have to worry much about it because you can take a brute out very quickly. But the one on round, you know, 20 or so that spawns, it could be a little difficult and it could actually down your team if you're not careful. So I would recommend just getting out of there if possible. Ideally you would have four people over there and they would all shoot him at the same time and you could probably kill him before he got to you But in our case, we didn't have all four people over there. It was just me and this guy So anyways guys that is going to wrap up my video on the best zombies camping spot in my opinion And I will see you guys in the next video